All right, hey guys, remember about CCG and there's new um, Albus cards that are announced for the structure deck. And just letting you guys know, so the structure deck, Albus Strike, which I covered previously, um, I'll put on the top right if you want to see like the other cards that were um, mentioned for the structure deck. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're getting the cover monster here. Um, and, and yeah, uh, let's go through this. So we here we have a trap called Branded Blade. Um, you can only use the first and second effect with this card's name per... Uh, per turn and only once that turn um, Okay Banish any number of branded spell traps from your grave so summon that many as ice blade uh, tokens um, Okay, so I mean that seems pretty cool You could banish any number of branded spell traps and you can switch them in that many level 8 uh, tokens with 2500 attack um, Yeah, seems pretty nice uh, that's definitely you, you can at least go with the finisher for that it is kind of slow um but i mean that that seems pretty cool i'm not sure if it's like worth the exact slot for it but um but yeah uh you can second effect you can banish this card from your grave then target one of your banished fallen of albus mon felon of albus or monsters that specifically list that card in the text add it to your hand um so yeah that's pretty good too uh, just able to recycle um, a lot, a lot of your uh, Fallen of Albus monsters, or just monsters in the deck that, uh, or I think it's yeah, monsters that list that card, uh, which are as you guys can tell, there's a lot of them um, since the entire um, archetype is structured around Fallen of Albus. Um, so yeah, it seems pretty good, the pretty good trap. Uh, this effect doesn't seem like. It, it does seem like pretty cool if you're trying to go for a finishing um, kill and uh, I can see it like it, you can li link them off if uh, if you want to go for that route um, since they are dragon um, you can't exceed with them so it just seems uh, mainly for finishing but since it's a trap card it's it's kind of slow um, but yeah I mean I think it's an interesting card at, and this effect is pretty cool and pretty nice um, here we got branded condemnation which is a counter trap card uh, okay every time I see the counter trap card I'm like oh, this might be an Omni in the game uh, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special means a monster uh, return a fusion monster that lists fallen of Albas as material to the extra deck one you control or two from your grave and if you do negate the activation and if you do uh, destroy that card so it's just uh it's an omni negate but only for effects that special mana monster so that's not uh too bad um it's it's pretty nice i guess uh it's it's definitely uh just having some sort of a negate i think it's all right um again it's kind of uh if it was a generic omni negate this would have been insane um but yeah uh you can banish this card from your grave and target one brand of spell trap in your grave uh, except branded condemnation add it to your hand uh, so again it's just a way to recycle more cards a lot of these branded cards have that um, and that's the thing with branded blade right if you banish uh, these your branded uh, sp spell and traps you're not gonna be able to use their graveyard effects uh, so that's why you gonna you kind of have to like value if it's really worth uh, running this here and here we have mirror jade the ice blade dragon which is the cover card, I think. It looks... It does look like it. Um, I think that... Yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. It's a level 8 Dark Worm Fusion. So it's a... Uh, has a uh, dragon in its name. But it's a worm. And, uh, it's a Fallen of Albas plus 1 Fusion Synchro Exceed or Link Monster. So this already tells me that it's a pretty good... Um, well, as, you, as many of the Albus uh, fusion monsters are, uh, it's a good target for, like, Super Poly. Really good target for Super Poly here. You can only control one copy of it. Uh, once per turn, a quick effect, you can send one fusion monster that lists Fallen of Albus material from your deck to the grave. And then banish one monster in the field. Uh, but this effect cannot be used again next turn. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Uh, you can send one fusion monster. Okay. So, you can banish a card... That's nice. It, it isn't uh, once per turn. Or it's once per turn. But then you can't use it the next turn. It's not. It doesn't target though. So that's nice. 3000 attack is also considerable. 
uh, beat stick, considering that you also can use your opponent's monster to summon it. Um, and then if this face of fusion, uh, if this face of fusion summon card you control leaves the field by your opponent, you can activate this effect, destroy all monsters they control during the end phase of this turn. So it's like a delayed uh, nuke. Um, that this seems pretty cool. I, I think it's a pretty nice card. Um, uh, essentially, just being able to get it out for free, or not for free, but like half the price if you use Super Poly, um, is nice. And uh, if you use Super Poly during your opponent's turn. You are able to have this out and then use this effect um, to banish something else. And then this potential nuke if they are able to leave the field. Not by destruction or anything. It just says uh, leaves the field. So even if it's banished, uh, shuffled away, uh, it looks like it, it'll still go off. Um, maybe not shuffled away, but it banishes should still work here. Um, but yeah. And then we have... Uh, Rebellion, the Divine Flame Dragon, which is the level 8 Light Dragon Fusion effect monsters, which is the counterpart, counterpart, uh, counterpart to this uh, Dark. It requires a Dark Monster and one uh, Fallen of Albaz. So Dark Monster, um, a lot of decks are Dark, so still super relevant with the Super Poly. And if this card is Fusion Summon, you can discard one card. Fusion Summon one level 8 or lower uh, monster from your extra deck. By shuffling fusion materials listed on it, listed on it into the deck from among your cards in your field, grave, and their face of banished cards. But for the rest of the turn, this card cannot attack. Also, you cannot switch summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. Um, so it looks like this card is, uh, if you're not able to go into your other fusion monsters, this card looks like it's your way into going into your other ones. If you have them, the material banished, for instance, or in the grave, um, I think it's a nice, uh, a nice card to have ready just in case you need it. Um, and you can totally go into uh, Mirror Jade if you need to do that. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Um, it's definitely not like your first choice, I think, um, just because. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it does seem a little slow, and you do have to discard a card. But, um, I think it's pretty powerful, though. Um, and here are the tokens here. So, here we have Albus the Black Shrouded. Um, and here we have Ecclesia the Exiled. Tri Brigade. Well, look at that. That's a pretty cool token. It's like all the Tri Brigade. Uh, okay, that's a pretty cool token. I think I might uh, end up getting that token, just for... Just on my own, just to have it. Uh, the two virtuous, and then a Lubert of the Wicked uh, Dogma. Here's some reprints. Some pretty cool reprints. Effect Veiler. Oh, Dark Ruler no more. That's a really nice reprint to get here. Um, yeah, uh, there can be only one. It's already pretty cheap. Dimensional Barrier, that's nice to see here. Uh, especially since it's been getting some attention recently. Um... I think the Star Liege uh, safer, safer has been going up there in price, so that's nice to see. This seems like it's going to be a... And then, obviously, the White Dragon, White Verbuster, and the Black Dragon. That's pretty cool. Honestly, this looks like a pretty good structure deck so far. Um, tell me what you guys think about the structure deck, about these cards. Um, are you guys going to pick it up? Um, I think I kind of want to see if there's going to be... Um, I mean the Dark Ruler No More is pretty nice. Uh, I might pick up a few of these just because. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.